Hi, I'm Patrick Moorhead, Vice President of Advanced Marketing at AMD. Today what I'd like to do is show you the graphics superiority of an AMD mainstream-based PC versus an Intel mainstream PC. Uh, over the last couple weeks, uh, Intel announced a new graphics driver for their G965, and they even had a blog that talked about the improvements that they made. What I'd like to show you, though, is the reality about the improvements that were made. Now, while we know that real gamers, enthusiast gamers, uh, we recommend discrete graphics for gaming, we believe at AMD that all users of their mainstream systems should have a good gaming and video experience. Before we get started into the demos, I'd like to give the details about the configurations because it's very important. These are equally configured AMD mainstream systems versus equally configured Intel mainstream systems. And here are the details. So keep in mind that we've been showing our platform superiority for months now. And one of the premier titles that we've been showing, a very popular title, in fact, Game of the Year years ago, and very popular even today, is called Far Cry. Now, Intel has claimed that they made major fixes to make this more playable. But in fact, these are unplayable rates at the quality settings that anybody would play the game at. As you can plainly see, we have smooth, crisp details with an acceptable frame rate. Now let's take a look at Call of Juarez, a new game, but a very popular game. And the thing that I like you to, to really look for is shadows. And as you can see, the AMD system renders shadows where the Intel system does not. And obviously, the artist who developed this was intending for shadows to be there. OK, on to Battlefield 2, a hugely popular game. Now, with the Intel system, you do get a, a little something extra. Now, we may be in the refinery scene, but the artist didn't intend for there to be oil slicks on the grass. I'm certain. What you're getting with the Intel system are corrupted graphics. And with the AMD system, you're not getting those. You're getting nice looking graphics. I previously talked about the popularity of mainstream games. And particularly when you get to mainstream PC systems, that's what a lot of the mainstream PC buyers are playing, mainstream games. A great example of this is Sims 2. There's a lot of interesting facts around uh, the entire Sims family. In fact, according to JPR, they've sold 2 billion units of the Sims family games since its inception. And according to NPD, it's the top game out there, period, in the top 50. Now, the best way to describe the quality uh, comparison between the AMD system and the Intel system is to read from a recent Business Week article entitled, Is Your PC Graphics a Wimp? And let me read this. Quote, unquote, a pretty river flows past Pleasant View. Its rippling waters reflect clouds and the graceful arches of a bridge. Unless, that is, you're playing EA's The Sims 2 video game on an Intel computer with underpowered graphics. If so, the water appears as a featureless patch of monochromatic blue, and many other graphic subtleties of the game are lost." End quote. I think that says it best. Compatibility is very important in games, and particularly with some of the mainstream buyers. You can imagine opening up your, your presents around holiday time, putting in the game that you just bought, and it just doesn't run. Well, in fact, uh, what I'm going to show you is an example uh, of a game that's not compatible uh, with the Intel platform. It's called Shadow Run. The ironic part is that it's sponsored by Intel with Core 2. And as you can see, it runs on the AMD platform. It won't run on the Intel platform with the G965 graphics. So let's move on to video playback capability. And in this comparison, it's sort of like the Intel system, which is the VHF, rabbit ears era type technology, versus the AMD solution, which is really like having digital cable. So on the AMD 690G-based motherboard system, 
you can experience the video quality of the DVI connection and you can experience the HD audio and the HD video quality through the HDMI connector. You can't do that on the Intel G965 based motherboard system because it doesn't exist. The VGA was introduced by IBM in 1987 and we think that end users deserve a little bit better than a 20 year old uh, connection. In fact, we have supported natively DVI and HDMI for six months now on the 690G system. So I'm asking all of you to do it for yourself, do the comparison, and tell us what you think about this. We would love to hear from you.